Organic substances are molecules with structures based on carbon. Many of the substances found in living and deceased organisms are organic compounds. In fact, carbon is the foundation of the molecular structure of all plants, animals, and microorganisms. Life as we know it would not be possible without the element carbon. Scientists know about more than a million carbon compounds, and every year they find some more. Graphite, diamond, fossil fuels, sugar, and marble are just a sampling of common organic compounds. Carbon is in the second row or period of the periodic table, and it has the atomic number six. In its ground state, a carbon atom has six electrons in two energy levels. The outer energy level, or valence level, contains four electrons. However, elements in the second period need eight electrons to fill their valence level. According to the octet rule, atoms in the first and second periods tend to gain, lose, or share electrons to have a full valence level. Half of carbon's valence level is filled with electrons. A carbon atom usually satisfies the octet rule by sharing electrons with other atoms in covalent bonds. Single bonds share one electron from each bonded atom. Double bonds share two, and triple bonds share three. Carbon is unique in its ability to bond in such a variety of combinations. An atom's nucleus has an attractive force. Carbon's nucleus exerts a strong attractive force on covalently bonded elements because its valence level is close to the nucleus. This allows carbon to form short, strong, stable covalent bonds. Carbon atoms frequently bond with each other to fill their valence levels and satisfy the octet rule. They also bond with elements such as hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, producing long chain molecules. Carbon atoms form the molecular basis for an enormous variety of compounds that participate in a wide range of chemical reactions, including those providing the basis of life. All life forms depend on biological processes involving carbon compounds. Chemistry helps scientists understand those processes. The circulation of blood, respiration, reproduction, and digestion are all series of chemical reactions. Photosynthesis, which occurs in plants and some microorganisms, is one important biological process for life on our planet. It converts light energy from the sun into chemical energy. Photosynthesis takes place in a plant's chloroplasts. Carbon dioxide from the air is combined with water and sunlight to produce glucose, a type of sugar. Glucose is converted into other chemicals, which the plant uses for energy. Photosynthesis produces most of the oxygen in the atmosphere, which is essential for the life of animals. Animals also benefit from the chemicals in plant and algae cells. When animals eat plants and algae, they absorb carbon-based substances such as glucose, starch, and carbohydrates that are essential for survival. Carnivores also gain plant nutrients by eating herbivores. Thanks to carbon compounds, the chemistry of life is sustained and maintained. Did you know? Although carbon is not an abundant element, it is distributed naturally in a wide variety of compounds. Carbon makes up only 0.025% of the Earth's crust, yet it forms more compounds than all the other elements can put together.